Why play Lucian in the bot lane? Well, he's got amazing early game pressure and he brings a ton of damage. He's got tons of tools to keep himself alive and he's one hell of a duelist. However, he does lack range compared to other ADCs and this does mean that other ADCs will outscale you late game. For Lucian's passive, after he uses an ability, his next attack shoots twice. Also, when an ally empowers him, it makes this double shot do bonus magic damage. Lucian's Q is a targeted ability, which fires a bolt of piercing light into the target and anything else in front or behind them. Lucian's W fires a shot which explodes into a star, marking enemies and dealing magic damage. If Lucian then attacks a marked enemy, he gains movement speed. If an ally attacks a marked enemy, Lucian gains movement speed and it proxes passive to do extra magic damage. Lucian's E is a short dash. The cooldown is reduced when you proc your double shot passive, so you can use this at the start of the fight and then use it again to get out. Lucian's ultimate shoots out many shots from his gun in a straight line. You can even dash while casting it if you need to reposition. For masteries, go for this. You can proc PTA incredibly easily and the rest will just keep your health and mana topped up. For build order, either start Dorans and Pots or quickly becoming my new favourite Longsword and 3 pots. Build this into Gale Force followed by Boots and Essence Reaver. Following this, these are great items. And then finish your build by getting one of these depending on who their main threat is. For skill order, start Q, then E, then W. Before maxing Q, then E, then W, taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, flash and heal is pretty standard, but also consider flash and exhaust as it really helps your ability to duel. During the laning phase, you should always be looking for small, quick duels. Dashing in with E to auto attack twice, followed by Q with your double auto attack is an incredibly fast and hugely damaging combo, which often you'll be able to just walk away from. From. At this stage in the game, there are so few champions who can outtrade your burst, but most will beat you in an extended fight, so keep bullying in these small windows of hyper-aggression. If you're able to get two of these trades against your opponent, you'll usually have them pushed out of lane if not simply outright dead. Convert this pressure into dragons and tower plates. The mid game is where you want to be putting in a lot of work. Using your early game pressure, you're looking to take tower and dragons as early and often as possible to help snowball your mid game. Following taking your tower, as an ADC you're looking to rotate mid to get mid out of tower as soon as possible possible. Taking this tower gives you a huge amount of pressure over both Dragon and Baron, especially if your mid-outer tower is alive. However, at this stage, you can do so much more than your standard ADC. Keep trying to force small 2v2 or 3v3 skirmishes. Your burst damage is usually enough to just delete one of them off the map before the fight's barely started. And where this may sound like strange advice to give to an ADC, don't be afraid to look for jewels. With your ability to dodge and kite, you can make it incredibly frustrating to deal with you. Entering into the late game, you're looking to end the game as soon as possible as other ADCs can outscale you. Look to force fights on Baron and Dragon as soon as possible. The earlier you can make these fights happen, the better for you. When you get into these team fights, you play the role of the standard ADC where you stay safe and shoot anything you can. However, you will play this role slightly different from most ADCs. Instead of relying on superior range, you're relying on your dash, gale force and movement speed to stay alive. With all these tools available to you, you have so much potential to outplay anything trying to kill you. Keep being the slippery ADC threat in the backline, shooting everything you can, prioritizing squishy targets and keep Keeping alive.